Flutter version management is an open source tool that makes it easy for you to keep track of your Flutter projects and versions, and it provides you to fast switching between channels and releases. For the FVM installation, we will open the terminal and run this command. And as you can see here, we have installed the FVM successfully. But we have a warning here, and it says we need to add this pad in our environment variable. Therefore, we will open the environment variable here. Then in the system section, we edit our path and add this path in it. And after that, we need to restart our terminal. Now we run this command to install the stable version of Flutter. As you can see here, we have installed the stable version successfully. And now if we run the FVM list, we see the stable version is here. For using this version of Flutter inside our all projects, we need to run the FVM global command. As you can see, we don't have permission to run this command. Therefore, we need to open the terminal as an administrator. Now we run the FVM global command here to set the stable version for all our projects. After that, we need to copy this path and replace it with the current Flutter path in our environment variable. Now if we run the FVM list, we can see the stable version is as a global for our all projects. Do you want to have your Flutter app, website or backend server completely developed in a high professional manner instead of developing it on your own? Then simply go to heyflutter.com slash app and we will develop this app for you. If we want to use any specific version for our Flutter project like a stable version, first we need to open the terminal inside the project and run the FVM use for a stable version. As you can see the project now uses the Flutter stable version. After running this command, you will see one folder is created inside your project, which includes one SDK folder and one fvmconfig.json file. The fvmconfig file says what particular version of Flutter we are using for this project. And now in order to switch versions dynamically, you need to add the version symlink inside the settings.json file of the VS Code. 